Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ankit and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to give you a free social sharing plugin for your WordPress website. If you write articles on your website, you'd need social buttons on your website so that a user when reading your article can quickly share it among all the social media platforms he or she is on. So it's a really great plugin. So let's get to the video right now and see which plugin it is. So without wasting any further time, let's begin. If you write articles on your website, then you need to have social sharing buttons on your website so that a user can share your article in social media platforms. So it help, also helps to grow your website or to have more visitors on your website. You could include some social sharing buttons on your articles, but there is a lot of social media platforms that you are not available on. So how do you know if a user is available on a specific platform or that? For this, you need to install a social sharing plugin, which displays all the social media that is available on the internet so that the user, no matter what social media platforms he or she is present, can share your article. So let's jump into the computer screen and see which plugin I'm talking about. So the plugin I was talking about is Sassy Social Share. It's really hard to spell Sashi social share or whatever you can say. It's a WordPress social sharing plugin and it's absolutely free. They have a premium version, but uh, as usual, you don't need a premium version because in the free version, they have a lot of features. And here you could enable this plugin on your website and it would enable social sharing buttons on whatever you can have on your page or your articles or whatever different pages you have, you can enable that. So it's really simple. So now I have a link down in the video description. Click here and install this plugin on your WordPress website. And now let's get to the WordPress dashboard and I'll tell you how you can install it. So now I'm on the WordPress dashboard and here you click plugins and add new and search sassy social share. You also don't need to search for it. I have a link below in the video description. Just click it and it will redirect to this page. So this is the plugin WordPress social and here you just click install now and active. So after that, this plugin will be activated. So now you have an option here, Sassy Social Share. You just click it and now you'd be redirected to the dashboard. So here the magic happens. So now from here, we'll make changes so that it affects on our website. So the first one is theme selection. So here you could choose uh, the settings I'm doing here. You could do exactly right these settings or if you want to change, you can change it. So first you would have your shape. So what shape of icon do you want? You want round, you want square or you want rectangle. So I always prefer round because um, it looks more cool. So here you have icon preview. If you click on square, it will show you square. And if you click on rectangle, it's the same, but I would go with round one. Now the size and pixels, you have a default size of 35. If you want a bigger or smaller, you can always change here. Logo color, color um, default you ha have uh, the color of the icon, whatever the company has. And uh, if you can choose here, but um, I prefer to leave it on default and you don't need to change all these settings and here is a floating interface theme so for floating interface theme basically means is uh, a interface of social icons would float on your website let's say on your article page uh, let's go to my article and i will show you how it exactly looks so here i come to my website and there's an article so as you can see on the left side this is a floating interface theme so here I have some social icons that I'm present on actually. And here a user can click on and share my article. So this is a floating interface theme. So I can preview is square. So here, as you can see, all the icons appear square. So the uh, size, border, logo, I have all set it default. And after that, click save changes. Now the theme selection part is over. Now I'll go to the standard interface. So in standard interface here, first is enable standard sharing interface. So standard sharing interface basically means that you can click on this question mark icon and it will show you how it looks. So if you write the article, so at the 
end of the article here you would uh, see all the social buttons uh, that a user can use to share your article but i have my own buttons at the end of the article so i have disabled it but you can enable it and also you can set your instagram username here so if you give the icon of instagram so one can click it and go to your instagram page and also i have my instagram account link down below so go ahead and follow me also this one is a premium one but we don't need this and here is the main thing so rearrange icons so this icon should be displayed in the order however you set here so first is facebook twitter reddit linkedin pinterest instagram so you can set it according to your wish and here if you see these are all the social networks that this plugin offers so there are a lot of networks that i even don't know the names of some so if you are present or if uh, are present on any social media you want you can click those and display it and where you do want to place your uh, interface so if you want it on your left you can select left if you want it on center right you can choose it if you want it top of the content or bottom of the content so top of the content means basically when you write an article so the social sharing button would be placed on the top and if you want it on the last you can choose bottom and here's the placement placement basically means where do you want the interface to appear if you want it appear on the home page on post pages so i basically want it on the post and pages and show share counts basically it would show the number of shares that uh, number of times the article has been shared i have not enabled it now because i don't get so much traffic on my blog so i have not enabled it right now but if you want to show you can show that and just click uh, save changes now the standard interface part is over now go to the floating interface so this uh, i basically use the floating interface so as you can see here the on the left side this one is the floating interface so as i go down it also goes down as i come up it also comes up so here i have enabled it target url is a uh, url of the web page where icons are located you have to leave it to default and instagram username i have also same username you can give your instagram username here and these are rearrange icons so here the order of icons are shown here and when i go to this this dot order of icons are the same so if you want to rearrange it you can use that also you have some uh, sharing services so you can like show here pin it if you want to if you want your photo to pin to instagram you can do that if you want to tweet link share reddit and all that and also you can select here if you want any other social media icon to appear background color default horizontal alignment on the left if you want it on the right you can choose right and now what is left offset and top offset so left offset basically means how much space do you want it if i put this left offset to 0 it would stick to the side but i want some space in between so i have choose 10 pixels so it would have a gap of 10 pixels if you want to give it 20 it would have a gap of 20 so you can do it according to your need and top offset so top offset is how much space you want it from the top so i have chosen at 200 pixels so it's has a gap of 200 pixels but if i increase it it would come more down and if i decrease it it would go up it's really easy and the placement same here as previous one where do you want to show your floating interface i only want to show it on my post and now share counts total shares and you leave all this at default and you click save changes so now after doing all this your plugin is ready go to your website and check if your plugin is working or not and there are a lot of other settings but you don't need to change those settings leave it default and your plugin would work good So this was pretty much it for this video. You can use this plugin on your website so that a user can share it among all the social media platforms. And also the link of the plugin is down below in the video description. Click here and install it and activate it and use it. Also you can follow me on social media. My social media links are down below in the video description. Also like this video, share this video among those who want a free good social media sharing plugin. Also subscribe to the channel for more such content. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video till then bye